Hello everyone and welcome to Fletcher Farms Amarillo. I'm Julie Fletcher. I'm here at Claude Veterinary Hospital and I wanted to officially introduce you to Lucky. We got some uh, partial uh, results on Friday from his biopsy and I wanted to share that with you but I wanted you to meet him first and you could see him in person so I'm going to flip the camera around so you can see him. As I flipped the camera around, the audio cut out and you couldn't hear me. But this is our boy Lucky. He's doing really well. Dr. Amber said that he is eating and drinking like a champ. This was him munching on some hay when I got there to go visit him. Dr. Amber was there around 12 and I was there probably around 3 o'clock or so this on Saturday afternoon. So he was eating some hay and he had drank a bunch of water. I refilled his water before I left and gave him some brushies and some love, but he was enjoying his hay and making a mess out of it. So I did help him clean it up, and he's just a sweet boy. And Charlie has a floppy bottom lip, and Lucky has a floppy top lip. So it's kind of cute. Lucky is an absolutely handsome man. Now that he's clean and you can see his colors, he has some brown in him. His belly is kind of white, and then he has some also some red spots. So he's an absolutely stunning horse. He does need to gain a little bit of weight. You can see his ribs and his spine's a little bit pronounced. He has lost a little bit of muscle in his hips too. Um, that's obviously because he was probably not eating. Um, but he is an absolutely beautiful horse, and his eye is looking so much better. Dr. Amber said it is still oozing a little bit, and she said that's to be expected because of the infection and the inflammation that's in there, but oozing is good and it's not building up underneath his eyelids, so that's a good thing. But today I was there, it looked much better than it did when we were there on Tuesday, so he's making progress every day and that's a really good sign. The picture on the left is what his eye looked like on Tuesday when we brought him into the vet before she started working on it, and the picture on the right is what his eye looked like today. Like I said at the beginning of this video, we got partial results back from his biopsy. Dr. Amber did a biopsy on his actual eye and then he also had a spot on the back of his head um, that she was concerned about as well. She thought it was a swollen lymph node but she wanted to just double check and make sure that there wasn't anything going on there. But this area right here that I'm pointing to these were the results that we got back from the biopsy, and that biopsy did show that he does have squamous cell carcinoma. And I'm sure I said that wrong, but he does have cancer. That lump right there is cancer and um, wasn't the news that we wanted to get, um, but we do have some options. Dr. Amber did say in the previous video that if this was cancer, this was kind of out of her wheelhouse and that we would need to uh, consult with some other veterinarians and find out alternatives for him. So when we did find out on Friday that this was cancer, I reached out to Dr. Wagner at MVP, which is Mobile Veterinary Practice. There are other vet that we use. I reached out to her to see if she had any ideas on what we could do for Lucky, and she has had cases of uh, horses that have squamous cell carcinoma in their eye and they've done surgery on them and they've worked out quite well. So we have high hopes for Lucky and she also said that there's some radiation and chemotherapy treatments that we could do as well on top of the surgery. So he has options and we're definitely not going to give up on him and I know he's not going to give up either because I know he's a fighter. In addition to the two biopsies that Dr. Amber did, she also did an x-ray to see what was going on underneath his eyelid since she really couldn't see under there because of all the inflammation and swelling that there was. And what she saw underneath there was that there's a mass under his eye and that's the tumor that would need to be removed. From the x-ray that she did, it is not in the bone and it's just in the tissue and the skin. So that's a good thing. That means it can be removed with surgery and Dr. Wagner down at MVP was confident that they could most likely do the surgery, but she did want to see him before she gave me any definite answers on how we could proceed with Lucky's treatment. Another thing that the biopsy results did show from that area was that the cancer is not in his lymph system. Dr. Amber was concerned that it was because that is where his lymph node is on that back part of his head where I pointed to earlier. But the cancer was not in his lymph system and it is just in the skin and tissue from what 
the biopsy results are showing. We still haven't gotten the full report back and the biopsy from his actual eye, we have not received that back yet either. But since the one behind his head is squamous cell carcinoma, she was pretty confident that the one in his eye is going to be the same. On Tuesday when we brought him in, we also did just regular blood work to make sure that his liver and kidneys were functioning properly. And his liver and kidneys are functioning properly. The only thing that that blood report said was that he had inflammation and um, infection, which obviously we could see from his eye. So on Tuesday, he got a two big doses of penicillin to try to knock out most of the infection. And as you can see from this video, his eye looks a lot better and is definitely less inflamed. Uh, Dr. Amber said too that his eye is not stinky like it was when he first came in. So that's a good sign that the infection is clearing up. So he's making progress every day and that's, that's really good. In addition to the antibiotics that he received on Tuesday, he also got anti-inflammatory medication along with some pain meds electrolytes and probiotics. He is still taking the anti-inflammatory and the pain meds every day. So we just make sure that we keep him comfortable and that he's not experiencing any more pain. Along with the pain meds and anti-inflammatories that he's getting every day, he's also getting an oral antibiotic just so we make sure that we knock out as much of that infection as we can. We also started him on Alpha Pro twice a day, and that'll help give him some extra probiotics and vitamins and minerals that he needs as well, along with all the Free Choice Coastal, and I think she's given him some alfalfa too, um, just to try to fatten him up a little bit because he is still underweight. Lucky is spending the weekend up at Claude Veterinary Hospital. We didn't want to transport him to the farm and then have to load him up again on Monday to bring him down to MVP. We're pretty sure that he's a little bit sore in his back end because of the traveling. It was a six-hour drive from Kemp, Texas when we picked him up. So we just didn't want to transport him and move him all around and add any additional stress to him that we didn't need to. So he does have an appointment on Monday at MVP, so I'm going to go pick him up on Monday so we can take him to that appointment. So we do have options for Lucky's treatment moving forward and we're really glad that we do have options. Dr. Wagner down at MVP has also treated our other horses. When Charlie had his choke, she took care of him and got him all fixed up and diagnosed his abnormal esophagus. And she also took care of Cammie when she colicked. And then they also came up with alternative treatments for Cammie's legs. And she does have a problem with her pasture and bone. So Cammie does go get injections in her leg. And MVP always seems to come up with alternative treatments. So we're really looking forward to hearing what Dr. Wagner has to say on Monday on how we can take care of Lucky because he's just the sweetest horse. And we want to just make sure that he's not in pain anymore and that he's well taken care of. Since our appointment is on Monday, I will try to get a video posted for you as soon as possible to let you know what's going on with Lucky after his appointment at MVP. I'll hope to get at that out either Wednesday or Thursday, depending on how our internet is and how long the video is. We really have to thank Dr. Amber, too. She's done so much for Lucky and got his eye looking so much better in just a short amount of time. She spent hours at night doing research and sent me all kinds of research papers, and she just wants to do what's best for Lucky, and we can't thank her enough for everything that she's done along with the staff at Claude. They're just amazing, and we're just truly grateful for them. And to all our subscribers and fans and followers, we can't thank you enough for your generosity and your donations and your support and your kind words. And just everything over the past week has just been amazing. And we really can't thank you enough. Saving Lucky would not have been possible without your help and your donations and getting him the treatment that he's going to need. So we truly, truly appreciate all your support. And again, thank you from the bottom of all of our hearts. And like I said, I will get you an update video as soon as possible after his appointment on Monday. We're just really eager to find out what Dr. Wagner has planned and what we can do moving forward to get him treatment so he can start enjoying his retirement. But this is Lucky, and we really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. And if you do want to still donate to Lucky's treatment and medical care, uh, I'll put a link in the description below to where you can make that donation. And again, since we did start the Big Hoof Foundation, we are a nonprofit organization and your donations are tax deductible. So again, thank you all so much for your support and stay tuned for the next update video on Lucky. Thanks for watching.